So you want to take AP World History? <laughs> well, drop out now. Psych. We're just kidding, guys. AP World History, it's better than just regular history. Don't, like, hey, regular history. All right, Reese after. Okay. So, so pass this class. You can't procrastinate on your work. Um, that's really important because it's gonna build up fast and there's a lot of work and a lot of stuff to take care of. So just make sure you stay on top of that. Especially spice notes, guys. You may think that, oh, it's easy, or oh, you'll get it done. It takes forever. And you don't have to write like a hundred, like you don't have to fill it up, letting you know that. Cause that first one I ever did, they were all filled. And another thing you have to do, make sure you do your work because if you don't do your work, you're great. <laughs> your grade is gonna plateau. So you just wanna keep that, that high. If you do your work, and then if you study for the tests, but don't just look at your notes and be like, oh, I'm a notes, I'm good. But actually study, enough. these notes are not enough, right Reese? The notes are not. Yeah, so this is, look at your notes and do your work and you should be perfectly fine to pass your class. All right, so the biggest mistake I made was not turning in one assignment. There was one assignment that I didn't, I was like, oh, I don't know if I should do it. I was like, it was like after a break and I was like, I don't think Olga's gonna accept it. I just won't do it and turn it in. So I was like, whatever, I'm not gonna turn it in. But turn in everything. Even if it's late, turn it in because that could be the reason why you don't have an A. If you want an A and you wanna get that good, like solid A, turn in every missing assignment. Also, my mistake was be sure to like ask ahead of time before like you go on like a sports game or like go on like a trip or like, like leave school because a lot of times there's assignments that you're gonna miss and that'll become missing and it starts to pile up and it really hurts your grade so be sure to ask ahead of time so for notes the best way to do well on notes well make sure you can write with two hands because like your hand or like two i don't know two different ways to write for because it's hard to write notes like it like, takes some mad hand strength you know mad hand strength so yeah, like make sure you just like, make sure you can write with two hands. Um, also, if you have really bad handwriting like me, you're gonna have to write fast because there's a lot of information. So make sure you can actually read them because when you're reviewing for a test, you have to look over your notes and I can't read some of my old notes. So be sure you can read them. Yeah, it sucks when you have notes that are written and you just like, damn, what are those? So one thing that I did well during this like AP class was when I had to go away for sports, I made sure that I made I made sure I got the the notes that I'd be right down during class, and I got my work so that I could do it and turn it in. Because if you don't do that, you'll start falling behind. Um, one thing that really helped me during this class was reviewing during tests and stuff, and not only like not only just looking through like your notes and stuff, but looking at like extra resources like your history book or like just looking up on Google. And just like really doing your study guide like really thoroughly and stuff because that will really help on the test. Okay, so reviewing for the AP test, there's a lot of stuff that you have to look over. So um, make sure you look over the point guides and stuff so you know what you have to do on like the DVQ and the LEQ. Um, do like, there's a lot of good videos out there that tell you how to do it. Podcasts. Podcasts. There's like videos on like DVQs, like each section. So be really thorough on like going over that stuff. Look over your old notes and study guides. That stuff really helps. And also the mock AP exam. I don't know if Norton's gonna do it this year, but he probably will. And it's just a thing over the weekend. You go there for like a couple hours and you just take like an like old AP exam. It's like the exact same and it really helps. It's worth it, guys. That's it's worth, worth it. it. And then to do well during the test, like what to do well, make sure you go to the bathroom because like say you have your DBQ, I guess your DBQ and LEQ are combined, like your multiple choice. You get one minute per question. So you want to make sure that you don't have to go. Like, like if you have to go to the bathroom and you like you can't go because you only have 55 minutes and you will make you rush through the test and make you do bad. So make sure you go to the bathroom. And also, um, stay hydrated. Uh, get enough sleep the night before. And yeah. Oh, you're still here. So I'm assuming you're actually deciding to take AP World History. Well, if so. Just make sure you follow the guides, you know? We set you up pretty good. And uh, good luck. You got this.